What's up, y'all? This is Real Talk Podcast, and I'm your host, Shalanda, and I'm here with my very special co-host, Ms. Mickey Diamond in the building. How y'all doing tonight? Yes. Make sure you like, you share, you comment. Tell a friend to tell a friend that Real Talk Podcast is on every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. Today's title is The Power of Yet. But before we get into that, we want to shout out Ashford Films. We would like to give them a, a special shout out and an amazing for amazing video production company who also provides podcast services. Make sure you check them out at ashfordfilms.com for your video and podcast needs. They are really, really dope. Yes. Okay. Shout them out. Shout them out. Yes. So getting back into it, Mm -hmm. this is our first time, you know, having a little setup like this. We're very excited to be here today. Mm -hmm. How you feeling? I am feeling swell. I walked up in the building. I said, oh, we got Filming ass. <laughs> we about to be lit. So we right now we getting the princess treatment. Yes. And it is dynamic. Okay, feeling dynamic. like movie stars up in here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, y'all. So Real Talk Podcast is all about the real healing, growing prosperity and real life experiences that will encourage a generation to exponential growth to be the last and the first. So make sure you tune in to healthy conversation, love, laughs and all. OK, what a what a how your week been so far? So far, so good. You know, it's like, oof. Being in your 30s ain't no joke, y'all. For real, for real. It's like... Talk about the it. The 20s was cute. And then the 30s, I was like, uh, okay. <laughs> but now when you start going and going, you're like, wait a minute. What's that? Yeah. Me. <laughs> and oh my goodness, y'all. Just a transparent moment here. But mental health is real. Okay? Yeah. And it don't mean something wrong with you. But it's so much going on in the world. You have to take care of your body. You got to take care of yourself. And personally, I've been dealing with a lot. I've been having like panic attacks. And I am just here to tell y'all, listen to your body. Yeah. Because if you don't, your body going to make you listen Listen. to it. Mm Mm-hmm. absolutely yes i appreciate that you know confession is good you know Mm -hmm. that's really how healing comes through when we confess what we're going through Mm -hmm. and you know because things are not always perfect you know people see us and they be like oh they live that perfect life oh everything look good no we we we're human we go through things just like anybody else everybody going through something yeah so we're gonna keep you in prayer you know what i'm saying thank y'all appreciate that and cover you under the blood because you know them anxiety attacks no joke scary listen the scariest times of my life yeah and it was it was so i had some moments seriously yeah. it is no joke well you look good thank you you, you look know, blessed I feel, I feel fine i don't look like nothing that what i'm okay. going through or been through you know what i mean because i keeps the faith and uh amen strutting it so there i know that's right well, let's get into some a little bit of hot topics before we get into our main topic, which our main topic is really, really amazing. Yes, I the can't power wait. of yet. Mm-hmm. Like we don't talk about yet too much. Like that's not a topic that people really bring forth. Um, but I think it is very powerful, and it, and it'll bring healing, and it'll bring newness to a lot of people. Mm-hmm. But <clears throat> before him, over two thousand dead as a powerful earthquake hits Morocco. People will need to stay away from buildings that are not strong because they are prone to collapse. And um, basically the whole village in Morocco, um, I don't know exactly the, the name, but basically the whole village died. That is so, so sad. Yeah, ex- except for the people that weren't there at the time. Oh. But is what's crazy to me is they are not uncommon but not unexpected like you know like they they haven't had an earthquake in over 120 years so so how could they even prepare for that yeah that's crazy i don't even know if there was a preparation or there was any warnings or anything Mm -hmm. you know what i mean Mm -hmm. and like all these people are now dead but again we go back to the government and how they control the weather and it's so much going on you know the hurricanes and stuff like that i i, I mean 
I honestly hate to put that on the government, but at the same time, it's like it's one natural disaster after another. Yeah, Literally. but like 120 years, like come on, I know. what would make that happen? I don't know. Mm. So uh, let's prepare for the highly anticipated show BMF coming back for the third season. Oh, see, I don't, I don't watch reality TV. It's not reality. It's TV. not. What is it? BMF. You don't know what BMF? Oh, is that the um the uh, the show with um I can't, I can't even think of names. Shoot out some names. I know you. I know. I know that show though. I actually know on the stars. Story. Yes, I know yes. the story. story. Yes, yes. Okay. and what I love about it, um, Meech, Meech, yeah. yeah. What I love about it is the true story. Mm-hmm. It is. A it's true a story. based off a yeah. true story. I do know that story. These people are still living for the most part, and they're telling, uh, um, kind of like a, uh, what would you call it, drug gangster. Mm-hmm. So is it more like documentary style, or is it more like episodes? It's episodes. Okay, so is it just highlighting their whole like everything? Yes. Okay. Girl. Oh my God! From the mama to the daddy to the friends okay, to so the cousins, be- then I might have to tune into that because yeah, I don't really you do, first of all do you gotta shopping, get but- back into first of all you have to go back to episode i mean season one and two you have to watch both seasons in order to get into season three okay ain't no way you can go to season three without season one and two (laughs) i don't really be watching television and you know i'm not a big tv person either but i yo bmf is definitely the truth for sure okay so um that is coming back march 1st 2024 and I'm excited because, man, I I'm, I was into it. Oh. I was into it. Uh, I, w- I was a little thrown off because, like, in real life, Lil Meech, he just reckless. Yeah. You know? I mean, but they all, you know, most of them, they cheaters and dogs and they do things. And, you know, he was dating Summer Walker it's and stuff. It's just a different and, lifestyle. That yeah. Whole thing is, like, a different lifestyle where, you know, us looking in, it's like, oh, no, but yes, I think I know it's a lot that goes into that, and a lot of his behavioral choices and decisions were affected by his environment. So, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, we're not gonna say that you know, watching the show, his dad wasn't no saint, you know what I'm saying? So, no, but I mean, he was dating one of the um biggest singers right now, Summer Walker. Like, we really thought they were cute. I did. I did love them. And she looks so happy with him. But we just see, that's all we see is the outside. We don't really know what be going on. It pictures a show be be like, woo, they so And then behind closed doors, it just... Right. But I like how she handled it, I have to say. I do like how she didn't get on the internet just dragging, dragging, dragging. The worst thing that she said was she don't understand why... Uh, he came in paying bills, taking care of the kids, doing family trips and all that only to just play games with her. Other than that, she was like, I'm back outside. With Tiana. <laughs> I just want to join they, tr- they, they, they duo and make it a trio. So if y'all listening, um, Tiana and Summer, um, yeah. Hook a real one up, you know. What I'm you talking about Tiana Taylor? Yeah, it's like you know they be friends. Oh, they is. Yeah, I, oh. yeah, I love you Tiana. Know, I, I hate with pictures. They be like so cute. No, I don't. I don't recall seeing pictures, but I love oh, Tiana yeah, Taylor. I'll yeah. definitely chill with Shorty. She yeah, she definitely the, the truth for mm-hmm. real. Yes, Tiana, if you listen at home, girl, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> we from New York too. We ain't in the New York. You from? We, you know what I mean? But. Yeah. <laughs> that's all <laughs> yeah i know that's right i love her i do too i love her style i love yes. and i mean i love her mind her family her the dynamic of everything and how she grew up and you know yeah, she's just raw and real yeah like you and gotta respect her you know what now that you say that now okay it's coming back to my mind because i did see where she was helping her with her performances because tiana taylor is out here getting yeah she do a lot she do a lot of producing yes videos and stuff like like she is that chick she really is like her behind the scenes work is phenomenal like she is an amazing person everybody's helping her her skills she is really dope in real life dancing same 
talking, about rapping, everything, that everything. Girl. Yes, fine as a man or a woman, whatever you okay. want to be, girl. Because whatever she got on, she Listen, popping. Hot stuff. Yeah, right? yeah, that's the truth. Yes, ma'am. All right, enough about Tiana Taylor. Yes, we could talk about her. Yes, we could talk about her. I was just listening to. I just posted something like, "Google me, baby." Google me, baby. You better ask somebody. You just wait because Mickey Diamond got some some clothing wear that's going to be inspired by Tiana. Yeah, And I cannot wait for that. I can Tiana. see it. I can see it. Y'all just wait on it. Y'all just wait on it. Wait on it. I have to get good news for the photography. So, you know what I'm saying? I have to see. We're going to have to capture a moment. Or okay. <laughs> <laughs> the power of yet. Let's oh, my God. This should be embrace the three letter word yet. Mm -hmm. It's so powerful. Mm -hmm. And I don't think we talk about it enough. Mm -hmm. The power of yet means a realization that some things are worth waiting for. And those things take time and work. So I want to highlight time and work. Mm -hmm. Because that is very important. Mm -hmm. Because if you're using yet, you know, it, it takes time. You have to know that it, time is really honestly not on your side. You know what I'm right. saying? Because if if you, if it was up to us, we could put it in a microwave and it'd be done. Right now? Yes, right now. But it takes time. It does take time. Whatever it is that you're working on, you know what I mean? Whatever it is that you're striving for, it takes time. Exactly. Work. Mm -hmm. That not yet is, you know what I'm saying? It's something that you, you grow up on. You know? Yeah. It's, mama, can I have a popsicle? Not, not yet. yet. <laughs> well, mama, can I have some ice cream? Not, not yet. yet. Maybe after dinner. Right. Mama, can I get some McDonald's? <laughs> not not yet. yet. But when you do mm -hmm. get that yes, yeah. be like, was it worth the wait? Yeah. It was definitely worth the wait. It was worth it. Definitely yes. when you put in the the work mm -hmm. you know the time and the work has to go together mm -hmm. when you are waiting on something and you don't have it yet you can't be sitting around mm -hmm. it's gonna make you go harder yeah it's gonna make you go harder exactly you can't you can't sit around you cannot just you know expect something to fall on your lap you have to go hard at it because you gotta, gotta run grind. after it yeah you gotta grind and it i know it's sometimes it could be so difficult to wait and it's so difficult because we want to just be like oh god you know what i'm saying like i see this person doing a big yes. one that person doing a big one yeah like the blessings is overflowing for other people and it's like dang but i'm a good person mm -hmm. i do this i do that and i'm like you know what I'm saying? And, it, and I think for the people that's really putting in that work, yeah. that extra work is just taking a little bit more time yeah. because you're going through the whole process. You're not skipping nothing. You're not hightailing nothing. You are literally going through that process. And if you notice like people who have histories, people who have testimonies, yes. they appreciate that, that life so much more yes so much more than people that's powerful who, like we're born into it or people who skipped a couple steps they yeah. don't know how to be empathetic or they don't know how to like you know talk to a reason with somebody that's not on their level all the way you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying so they end up issuing all these apologies because yeah they, you know what i mean they've offended mm -hmm. certain groups and stuff like that but when you literally are going through the fire yeah and you gotta feel every sting and every burn it humbles you it humbles to you. the point where it's like i don't have no other choice but to just give thanks yeah to the most high and just be appreciative and keep going and not give up yes and understand that there's power in there's yet power in that. and i have to keep time mm -hmm. and work at the forefront mm -hmm. So I believe that the word yet and faith are friends mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because they both teach us to believe and to have growth mindset. Absolutely. So if you put yet and like you, you know that there's time, I have a chance to grow. Mm -hmm. I have a chance to become more, you know what I mean? And, and faith is just believing that you are going to become that. Mm 
Absolutely. This is why I believe that you they're friends. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. They they go they go they go hand in hand. You need both of them. You definitely do. At all times. Definitely. And this is for anybody that has a dream, anybody that has a goal. You have to put yet yeah and faith together. We know that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Mm -hmm. What Absolutely. is what is yet? <laughs> yet is you haven't seen it yet you haven't it's it hasn't been it hasn't come to the forefront yet it hasn't fully become that thing that you wanted to become yet right it's in production yes you're working on it you're mm -hmm. building it you are from the ground it's, it's like a tree you know what i mean trees aren't aren't built overnight but when you plant it mm -hmm. and you have the roots there come on now it's gonna grow into something that is not gonna be able to be torn down easily yeah so so a lot of people like to use the word can't and don't and doesn't mm -hmm. you know what i mean mm -hmm. but we can flip that absolutely and make that a positive that's the negative mm -hmm. i can't why is it so easy to be negative to ourselves i don't know and not kind to ourselves why is it so easy to be kind to others but we can't be kind to ourselves i have no idea that's a big that's a big deal that's why self-care and loving yourself is vital in mm -hmm. your growth process mm -hmm. because you have to water yourself just as much as you water other people i think you know people are so um it is just easier to beat yourself down and people like you said they focus on other people and their successes and whatever goals they're reaching or whatever they're doing you see it come and you don't have it yet so it's so easy for you to be like oh well, i might not never get it because i didn't i didn't get it before them or i don't have it like them i'm not doing it like them and i don't have the same resources and all of that so i think that's why people are so negative and can and beat themselves down about whatever it is that they're doing that's true but we want to change that so if you're saying i can't just add yet yeah, the three letter word i can't yet but I will yeah. be able to. Yes. Yes. This doesn't work yet. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. yeah like, I like that. It it is it don't it don't happen for me yet. <laughs> right. You know, a lot of the times, like that's just how I have to talk to myself mm -hmm. and other people. Mm -hmm. Because that this is the way that I I have to encourage myself. I have to big myself up. Okay, you I know I'm working towards something. I know it's so many things in life that I want. Not just, you know, podcasting, like also being a mother, being a wife and you know, just my goals in general my, of my inner self and becoming a better person. You know, if I slip up and, you know, I'm not too good to myself, like I, I have to turn that around and fix that. And I may not have it 100 percent, but mm -hmm. just not yet. You know what I'm saying? I mean, words have power. Yeah. Words have power. And whatever we speak into ourselves, into other people, it's imperative that we use the right words. Yeah. That we want to prosper and come true for ourselves and for other people. And just as much as we, you know, big up other people, we need to big up ourselves. Yeah. Just like that. Just yeah. Just like that. And even though it's not yet, like you said, that doesn't mean that it's not in production and it's not happening. Yeah. So. I'm telling you. The time, the work, it all just because how how would you even know if you're not putting in that time, if you're not putting in the work? Mm. You yet won't exist to you. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you haven't yet yet started what it is that you have that goal to do and you, you want to do that's true you got to put forth the work and the effort you have to be doing something in order for something to come out of it and i'm gonna tell you just planting a seed is so important mm -hmm. you know just writing it down write the vision and make it plain mm -hmm. period mm -hmm. you know i've been preaching that forever and i am going to continue to preach it. i'm not going to stop i'm telling you you know people might get tired of she always going back to listen write it down mm -hmm. Write the vision and make it plain because that's the beginning of it. 
Absolutely. You got to start with the short term goals first. Yeah. Every goal don't have to be a year. It don't have to be six months. You could start it at one week. You could start it saying tomorrow, like, you know, instead of, you know, waking up and eating this, I'm going to just decide I'm going to wake up and I'm going to eat fruit because I'm going to stand on my health journey. I was just about to say that, like, even if it's cooking, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Maybe you're not a person that like to cook a lot, but write it down. Say, Monday, I'm going to cook this. Tuesday, I'm going to cook that. I might skip Wednesday, you know what I'm saying? Thursday, I'm going to cook this. You know what I mean? Like, it is important to write things down and make these goals. And you may not be good at cooking yet, but you will be. This, this, that's for my little niece cool, okay? <laughs> Sweetheart done burnt everything that existed in the house hey but i used okay. to be the burning i used to be the one yes. i used to be the one to burn everything yes but now she's got in a little culinary classes too <laughs> <laughs> so we hoping by the end of the school year that we're gonna be able to cook something without burning a pot or a, a piece of bacon yes <laughs> Listen, it's not easy. It's not. But the power of this small word allows success. It does. This three-letter word brings success. Yes. Okay? Yes. Because look at us sitting here. You got to start somewhere. You have to start somewhere. And you know what I'm saying? Like, just think about it. Maybe two months ago, did we think we would be sitting here? Absolutely not. It, don't, it, takes, it only takes one person. Mm-hmm. One person, when you when you are a creator, you know what I'm saying. It goes past influence. Yeah, it go it goes past that. Like you, when you become a creator and your mind is is different and it's excelling and it's prospering, you're gonna attract different people. Mm. You're gonna attract different mindsets because mm. your growth is going up mm. there too. Yeah. So if you aren't attracting that, then you know that you need to put in some more yes. work. Because that means that you you just surrounding yourself by the same people. So you want to become able bodied and you want to become that person where you want to grow in a positive life. Man. You want to go in a positive direction. So different people are going to pick up on your yeah. energy. They're going to pick up on your aura. They're going to be like, you know what? I see something in this person. Let me help advance them to that next level. My God. And people that do that, that's where they blessings come in mm -hmm. because it's not even about them getting anything out of it. And mm -hmm. they might not even know that they getting anything out of it, but they're going to get blessed. Girl, you're time, going to have me times. pick so over this mic. I don't want to destroy this <laughs> mic. <laughs> <laughs> that is so real. Tell God me. just literally spoke to me about that. You really have the power to choose who you attract. Absolutely. And we, we need to choose wisely. Absolutely. And by putting in that work, oh, you're going to attract the right no, it's the law people. Of oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. We can what just do they say? What? Be who you want to. You got to you got to live the life that you want. Yeah. Be delusional. Be delusional. When it comes to that. Okay. When, when it comes to I'm your delusional. and your goals, be delusional. I'm delusional. You have to. I am very much delusional. You, know, you gotta, you gotta. I'm not stopping different. no matter what. Absolutely not. No matter what, I'm not stopping. Absolutely not. You gotta keep going. You and gotta, nothing that I'm but, doing. And nothing, and even in the things that people can't see. I'm not stopping. It's not for everybody to see. Yes. That's for you. Yes. That's for you. Yeah. And as long as you feel that in yourself, as long as you can see the growth within yourself, that's what matters. Because the only person whose judgment matters is you. It's yeah. you against yeah. you. Yeah, it's you oh, against you. You know, just try that to be a better this. you. And that's it. Like, that's all we could do. Could you imagine failing the test and you get your grade back and it says not yet? Is yeah. that not powerful? <laughs> so that gives the student... The mindset of growth. Mm -hmm. Because. Yeah. Okay. You will automatically I, study harder. Yeah. Because nobody likes to fail. Yeah. Well, nobody likes to fail. So even when you think that you have an inkling mm -hmm. and you you like, oh, well, even for a test, mm -hmm. you like, you know, it's a big test. So what you going to do? You're going to prep extra harder. Mm -hmm. You're like, well, dang, well, why wasn't I doing this? in the beginning mm -hmm. though my low would have been a little bit easier but that's where we learn from our mistake yeah so when we see that okay you know what we can't wait to get ready mm -hmm. we gotta be already ready yeah because when you are already ready you don't have to get ready yes that's absolutely. what they said right so absolutely so they did do a study in chicago mm -hmm. 
and um the grades were not numbers if you failed your grade was not yet and if you pass you got your passing grade and oh, i thought wow. that was very powerful that is. and that gave the students another chance to say i can get this right i can do this not yet three letter That's word crazy the power wow i wonder what would make them do a study like that yeah that is, that is very yeah it's crazy because god spoke to me about the power of yet mm -hmm. but when you believe it or not it's out there people have already written books there's bible plans there's studies and i'm like what yeah and it, it's powerful and it's it's it, it helps people mm -hmm. this this word it is but we don't speak about it enough mm -hmm. it's not out there enough and definitely not in our community so that's why i thought it was important that we speak about this because a lot of people are just nah i'm not gonna do it mm -hmm. I don't I don't have the resources like I said it don't run in my family it's not something that's around me and my friends aren't doing it you know listen man I don't broke every curse come in on my now. family okay it is literally about to start with me mm -hmm. and I it's it's a lot of pressure mm -hmm. I ain't gonna lie it's a lot of pressure to be the first to break cycles yes. that were not great absolutely and the pressure is on. And it's like, dang, I sometimes I get a little forlorn because I'm like, man, you know what? I didn't have this. I didn't have that. I don't really know if I'm doing it right. But all I know is that I'm trying and I know what I don't want. Yeah. And I don't want to, you know, have a generation that has to keep being in that process of healing things that should have been yeah. done. Yeah. So I want to make sure that you know, I'm living this life for myself, but I'm also living it so that my offspring, yes. my grands, yes. my great grands, yes. they're like, you know what? Nah, we didn't have to deal with that. Mm -hmm. We didn't have to live that mm -hmm. because, you know what I'm saying? My grandma right here yep, made yep, sure yep. that we had this house yep. and she made sure that we had something, you know what I'm saying, that we could go off of, yeah. like businesses and things like that. Like, I never, I didn't get that from yeah. anybody in my family. I didn't, mm -mm. I didn't get none of that. The mindset that I have now is from seeing the, the life that I didn't want to live. It's, it's it's the stuff that I said. You know what? I don't want that. Yeah. Because you can either grow up and say, you know what? I'm gonna stick with yeah. this lifestyle, or I'm gonna change it. Yeah. I grew up in the life with drugs and sexual traumas and abuse and stuff like that. And I'm like, Same. You know, I don't want. I don't want to be addicted to drugs. Yeah. I don't want to have alcoholic problems. I don't want high blood pressure. Yes. I don't, wanna, you know, I don't want none of that. So I said, in order for me to get out of that i had to do something else and that meant that i had to change my my way of thinking yeah and that means i had to discard that victim mindset mm -hmm. and i said you know what that's where i came from yeah it ain't me it ain't it ain't me girl oh <laughs> my god my own testimony yeah i'm gonna be proud of you know the path that i did walk and i i embrace everything the good the bad all the hurdles but I count my blessings and I count them again and I count them again yeah. because I'm still here. And as long as God put that breath in my body for me to still be here, I'm going to still keep going. Yeah. Still keep Hearing going. you say that, it just sounds like my thought process. It just sounds like my life. It sounds like what I had to come to grasp within myself. Mm -hmm. You know, when I got to know who God was, I had to tell God, I really grew up saying, I don't want to be like that. Mm -hmm. I don't want to. Those were my words. I don't want to be like that. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I don't really see the example of what I want to be. So show me. Mm. So I had to start studying people that had the life that I desire. I had to start studying people that were doing things that I I wanted to do that I, you know how I wanted to put my stamp on this world and on this earth and and God's people you know what I'm saying I had to start studying that because I did not see it I only saw it on TV 
Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It wasn't in my reality. Mm-hmm. And I knew even as a, a, a woman growing up, I knew that I had to walk in a certain integrity. Definitely when I started to have children and stuff like that. And not to don't get me wrong. I ain't perfect by far. OK, mm-hmm. I ain't mm-hmm. perfect by far. But what I allow my kids to see, mm-hmm. what I allow my kids to feel, you know, what I'm saying not to say my kids are perfect, but these are the standards that I want to put out there. Because I didn't see it happening for me and my siblings. And you know what I mean? Absolutely. That's powerful. You want different. In my relationship with God, it ain't always been, listen, I grew up heavily involved in the church and then with my grandma you know we was raised jehovah's witness so i've all i don't read the bible about three four times from cover to cover so (laughs) i know like oh it was it was different you know yeah it was different it was like you know first it was me being a a very young because my grandmother was a a real grandmother like she was you know close Mm -hmm. pushing 70 so Mm -hmm. it was like i when i say i'm old school i really mean yeah Mm -hmm. like etta james john taylor we had grandmas yeah i had a grandma okay (laughs) one don't be my me me it was grandma (laughs) and you know what i'm saying so like that that's what how I was raised and then when I started getting old enough and I was like praying on my own and I would be praying for certain things and I'd be asking God why and I felt he wasn't answering me so when I was in my rebellious teenage years I cursed him out Mm -hmm. he just got out so bad Mm -hmm. when I say I cursed him out I cursed him out yeah and then I had to go and I, I had to go back and I had to apologize yeah and you know what i'm saying just like yo you were talking to your father or whatever so i was yeah. like you know what man i ain't mean it <laughs> but i did but it was coming from a place of hurt because God i didn't understand, understand why yeah. every, all the kids had and i didn't mm-hmm. and it was just minor things that i would ask for like a parent i'm like dang you you want you take both my parents like you mm-hmm. you know what i mean so it was like one of them things where i was like just over it yeah. you know what i mean i was like shouldn't no kid have to go through all this stuff yeah. and then you i was going through all this stuff as a kid like what kind of person just sit back and watch mm-hmm. you know a kid like just go through suffering like that yeah. but as i got older i just had to realize that you know it could be worse number yeah. one <laughs> so i just like i said when i say i count my blessings i do count them because what i did realize is he spared my life a lot mm. a lot okay because we could have ended up in on the streets you ever ride past somebody and you just be like you praying for them but at the same time you thinking god that that's not you and thank you lord you didn't lead me in that direction because that could have been me with what i've been through Mm -hmm. that could be me yeah a lot of us are a couple steps away from that about this rent in rochester (laughs) okay (laughs) that's the truth yeah but I mean, it, it's definitely been a journey. It has yeah. definitely been a journey. But I will say, just keep going. Yeah. Keep praying to, you know, whoever your higher up is. And, you know. Yeah. That's it. I believe that there is only one God. Mm-hmm. I really do. And I believe that we all have our different doctrines. We have our different ways going about it, but we all pray into the same God. When he knows our heart, yeah. When people tell me that they're Muslim and all that other stuff, I just be like, oh, okay, you know, I, I'm not judging because I believe that you're praying to the same God that I'm praying to. You know what I mean? I believe that we're all one. We're all one people, and we can have many different religions and going about it, but we're all one. And um, when we pray for each other, we need to just understand that prayer works. It does. It does. It's powerful. You know what I'm saying? Um. So, yes, that word yet. Can I just speak into your life and just tell you that yet is on you? Okay. And I've told you before, and that's because you continue to show up. The yet is on you because you continue to show up. And as long as you show up, God is going to continue to do what it is that he already had told you that he was going to do. He's going to do it. He's doing it. You know what I'm saying? And you have to just open your eyes and see. And the yet is on you. And it's powerful. You have to just keep walking towards it. 
Thank you for that. For real. Mm -hmm. And I mean that. Because showing up is important. That is that is what God asks you to do. That is what that's all he asks of you. You could be jacked up. Mm-hmm. You could be jacked up. Mm-hmm. In in your own way. You know what I'm saying? We all go through things. But like you say, you facing anxiety and all none of that matters. Is are you showing up? And how are you showing up? Are you showing up in your excellence? Are you showing up in your power? Are you showing up in the grace that you have for yourself? And what I always tell people is the grace that you have for yourself is the grace that God has for you. You know what I'm saying? And that that there's the power right there. Your yet is here. And keep walking and keep showing up. Keep walking into those opportunities. Keep walking into your truth and, you know, being authentic, being yourself. You know, a lot, people are watching. People can see. You know what I mean? That girl is something about that girl. So I just wanted to speak that thank into you. your life. Thank you. And thank you for showing up today. Thank you for showing up as you. Thank you for showing up and doing what God has called you to do. Because that's exactly what we're doing. This is this is God's work. God is in the room. God is here. Mm -hmm. He's right here. With all of us, you know, that's involved in this situation. And we're all getting ready. You know what I'm saying? We're all seeing our yet. We're seeing that that time and that work put in each and every one of us. Because that's what we've been doing. We've been putting in that work and we've been letting time do whatever time do. But the time and the work go together because it takes time to be here and do what we're doing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So thank you, Lord, for that. You know, I definitely want to make sure I acknowledge God in everything that we're doing. Mm -hmm. Um, We don't always talk about talk about it on the show um, Mm -hmm. when we're normally recording, but always in the back of my mind, I know why we're there. And I know why we're doing what we're doing. And it's because God has called us to do the work. Absolutely. He made it possible for us to do it. Yeah. And you have to have the heart. You have to have your heart and your mind made up to do God's work. So I believe that God is here. I believe that, you know, he's been with us this whole time and and keeping this going and just making this a beautiful experience. And I feel good. I feel warm. And I just feel like... You know, God is hugging on us right now. Oh, even with the rain, like, yeah, you know, my energy, like, just walking in here was like just so positive. The energy in the room, you could just feel it. It was just so pure, mm-hmm. you know. And it's like you, you can feel the the legitimateness of everything yes. that's like around. And yes, I'm a natural energy reader. Mm-hmm. My body naturally responds to energy, so every reaction, every Anything that I have is just a hundred percent me. Yeah, it's a hundred percent me because I could go in the room and I could just be, you know. Yeah. But then I could go in and it's like it's an energy pull and it's yeah. like whoa, yeah. this is really it. And I just came in here and it was just like boom. Yeah. Like the energy in here is like just so uplifting and it's just so great. Yeah. And so pure and I'm just I'm just so happy that I'm a yeah. part of it. And the know? topic was just perfect for it. It was perfect. It was just perfect, perfect for it because, you know, God is in that. Absolutely. And I believe he gave us that. I believe he brought us all together. So congratulations on you for doing this. Thank you. And shout out to Ashford Bill. Definitely shout him out, man. Yes. Shout him out. He has his own podcast as well. Yes. And he, you know, this is this right it's here. Cool. Y'all like, listening. Yeah, y'all listening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all gotta tune in to his podcast too, man. Brother yeah. Kyron Ashford, man. With his wife. Special Ms. shout Ash- out. Yes. 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 yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Can't forget the lady. <laughs> yes, that is amazing. Yeah. And he's been doing films for a long time Very now. Long time, um, man. you know, weddings mm-hmm. and parties, mm-hmm. celebrations. Yeah. So and I've seen firsthand. Yeah. Like, you too. know what I'm saying? I done seen his work and he does some good, good work. So yeah. Hit him up, book him. And you know what I'm saying? Like, let's help support each other, y'all. Yeah. 
This Listen, is black once this comes out, everybody's gonna be running. <laughs> yes, you said podcast. What y'all said said come on for this podcast? I'm trying to tell y'all these services is bomb. Okay, we we got when I say queen treatment. Yeah. Okay, we got the chairs, we got the mics, we can hear ourselves. We got the mic check one two one two. <laughs> they don't treat us like royalty since we've been yes. here. We got about four five cameras. Listen, y'all need to book him I'm for your podcast. You, like, right here, okay. right here, yeah. in, right here. <laughs> in your ear, like, bang. <laughs> I yes. absolutely love it, y'all. Yes. Thank y'all. Thank y'all so much for tuning in to Real Talk Podcast. Okay. Make sure y'all like, y'all share, comment, tell a friend to tell a friend that Real Talk Podcast is on every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. I mean, the conversations are so good, mm-hmm. powerful. We talk about everything 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 is a non-judgment zone sometimes we don't agree we don't and but we still love each other in the end you know what i mean and it's just you know it's something to really take in you know it's it's you know i had people say oh you know you talk about god and i'm like yeah because if it wasn't for God, I wouldn't be here. That's why I talk about God. So at the end of the day, if you don't want to tune in because God is at the forefront, whoop. <laughs> tune out. <laughs> tune out. <laughs> but make sure you tune in because we we are very, very loving people. We care in people. And we doing this all because we love the people. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? And I just think that the generation that is coming after us you know we have children and stuff you know mm-hmm. th- it's needed and also the generation that we're in mm-hmm. they can use some of the tips that we shoot it helps me mm-hmm. even when we go to talking sometimes i'll be like oh i needed that listen it's, it's that little it's the merge yeah <laughs> Yeah, so we're definitely doing it for the generation. We're going to keep on doing it for the generation. And yeah, that's it, y'all. Make sure y'all like, comment, and share. And y'all also follow Ash for Films on Facebook. Yeah, Real Talk Podcast. Real Talk Podcast in the building and out. I'm Shalanda. I'm your host. And this is my girl. Diamond, one and only, y'all. Peace. Peace out.